السلام علیکم گائز ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل الیکٹریکل کیمسٹری آئی ہوپ ڈیٹ یو آر ڈوئنگ گڈ اینڈ آئی آلسو ہوپ ڈیٹ یو ہیو آلریڈی واچ مائی پریویس ٹو ویڈیوز وچ آر آن این ایل اٹامک ایبزارپشن اسپیکٹروسکوپی اینڈ اٹامک ایمیشن اسپیکٹروسکوپی دیز ٹو ٹاپکس آر ویری امپارٹنٹ ان دا این الیکٹریکل کیمسٹری اینڈ دے آلسو ریلیٹ ود ایچ ادر سو ان دا تھرڈ ویڈیو آئی ایم ہیئر ٹو نو اباؤٹ یور ایڈوانٹیجز اینڈ دس ایڈوانٹیجز آف دا اٹامک ایبزارپشن اسپیکٹروسکوپی اینڈ ایمیشن اسپیکٹروسکوپی ٹو ریلیٹ Uh, and also relate them both and uh, uh, further we are going to discuss about the applications of the atomic absorption and the emission spectroscopy so let's start our video with the advantages and the disadvantages of the atomic absorption advantages are it is a precise and accurate result can be obtained by the usage of this technique it is a very sensitive it can detect concentrations as small as a few parts to the gram per liter gram per million also It is, it is generally very specific as a set wavelength is strongly absorbed by a particular metal ion being analyzed and only a little quantity of a sample is required about 1 to 2 ml it is a life saving technique in japan from 1932 to 1968 atomic absorption spectroscopy was used to identify the reason why over 3000 residents who live near the minimata based uh, started showing neurological problems and the women starting giving birth to the impaired children and scientists start taking uh, samples and performing atomic absorption processes and its results shows a very high concentration of mercury in their blood this result on stopping the company chiso corporation who dumped approximately 27 tons of mercury in a bay the disadvantages It is a cost effective technique flame atomic absorption spectroscopy can analyze only liquid sample and the graphite atomic absorption spectroscopy should not be used when an ordinary flame would do as well since there are the disadvantages relating to the sample size and precision also further we have the applications of the atomic absorption spectroscopy there are many applications including number 1 is the clinical analysis By the use of this technique we can detect deficiencies excessive amount of certain metals in our biological fluid such as the blood and the urine environmental analysis include this technique is widely used for the monitoring of our environment and it is used to analyze metal ions they are polluting the soil air and water and thus to find out the level of various elements in the rivers sea water drinking water and air in the petrol etc Another use in the pharmaceutical includes in some pharmaceutical manufacturing processes minute quantities of a catalyst used in the process and sometimes present in the final product therefore by using an uh, atomic absorption spectroscopy the amount of catalyst present can be determined for example in vitamins preparations Another use in the industry including raw material analysis many raw materials are examined and atomic absorption spectroscopy is widely used to check that the major elements are present and the toxic impurities are lower than specified for example in concern in concrete where calcium is the major constituent the level should be low because it is toxic it's further used in the food industry include it is used for the trace elements in the food analysis where it is used to track harmful metals in our food and drinks and it is the most important use in the cosmetic industry This technique is used for the trace element analysis in the cosmetics for example to analyze the specific allergic metals in the cosmetic and the last use in the petroleum industry include in petroleum industry the technique is used to analyze the metals present in the engine oils for example to check the presence of anti knocking agent tetra tetraethyl lead tel so these are the basic applications of the atomic absorption spectroscopy we are going to discuss about the applications of the atomic absorption spectroscopy emission spectroscopy has been employed for the analysis of the various alloys namely aluminum copper magnesium zinc lead tin etc and it has uh, been used for the analysis of the number of the elements including Uh, sodium potassium zinc copper calcium magnesium nickel iron present in the various tissues of the human beings changes in the trace metal concentrations have been studied at length with regard to be aging processes in the trace amounts of the calcium copper zinc have been examined in the blood samples presence of the zinc has been examined in the pancreas tissues 
and also to determine to, to determine the extent of elements present in crude oil by the virtue of the fact that some of the uh, these may poison the catalyst used in the cracking process that is vanadium copper nickel and iron and so many other things in the end we are going to discussing about the comparison between the atomic absorption and the emission spectroscopy atomic absorption spectroscopy uh, it measures the trace metal concentration in the complex matrices and it also depend upon the number of the ground state atom but atomic emission spectroscopy measures the trace metal concentration in the complex complex matrices and it depends upon the number of the excited atom so these are the advantages and the disadvantages and the applications of the atomic absorption and the emission spectroscopy i hope you have to completely understand it then go and like and subscribe my video and wait for another important new topic of the analytical chemistry allah hafiz